Hi, this is Carl and Einstein and I are here to give you another SOP video for managed service providers. Today we're going to talk about how you can go about not answering your phone and having no effect on customer service. First, let me explain all of these orange cones. I found these at Target a few years ago, four for a dollar, and I bought everything I could find. I wanted to give them to every one of our technicians so that they can put them out and everyone knows that they are not interruptible. It's very important that you develop a policy of always working from highest to lowest priority on everything you do and that you do one job at a time and you not be interruptible. Have you seen the show Mad Men? You know, the opening credits have this guy falling down and he's supposed to be very powerful and in control of everything and yet he's falling and falling and falling because he can't control anything in his environment. That is exactly what telephone communications was like in 1960. Somebody who was calling always had the upper hand because they could interrupt you any time and you just had to pick up the phone. There used to be a joke back in those days that you know, what happens as soon as you settle into the bathtub? Well, the phone rings. And that was funny back then because it meant you actually had to get out of the bathtub and answer the phone. You don't have to do that anymore. In fact, you never did have to do it, but people felt like they had to do it. A lot of our so-called wisdom about telephone communication is coming from this interrupt-driven environment. It's literally something that evolved in the 1960s and it hasn't evolved since then. So now it's time, now that we all have cell phones and everybody's connected all the time and we have texting and we have email and we have all kinds of other communications that did not exist in 1960, let's rethink whether or not you have to be tethered to that phone 24 hours a day, seven days a week, answer on the first ring. That is old, old, old advice. That advice literally comes from 50, 60, 70 years ago. And you don't need to do it. Think about this. What is the advantage to answering the phone? The advantage to answering the phone is that you are perceived to be responsive. You are perceived to give higher customer service. But that isn't necessarily the case. I know lots of people who answer the phone right away and give horrible customer service. Or they don't respond to the tickets or they don't work the tickets in an appropriate fashion or a timely manner. So answering the phone is not directly related to customer service. It is merely a perception and it's easy to overcome and let me show you how. It's so simple you can't imagine. Let's look at your clients. Every one of your clients the most important, the, the ones that are the hardest to please, the ones who are most eager for your time, every one of them has had the experience of calling and you weren't available and they left a voicemail and you called them back in a timely manner. Maybe it was because you were in a meeting, you were in the bathroom, you were swimming, you were doing something else, but whatever it was, it doesn't matter. Every one of them has had the experience of calling you leaving a message and you got back to them. Here's what we're going to do. I challenge you to take one day in your business and not answer the phone. You can call people back in one minute, you can call them back in five minutes, 15 minutes, whatever you feel like, but never ever ever let yourself be interrupted by the phone. Call people back. My guess is during that day not one single person will notice that you called them back instead of answering on the first ring. People really don't expect that anymore. Sometimes we like to think that we're somehow giving better customer service, but we're giving a, a level of customer service that nobody's asking for. One time ever in 20 years, I've had the experience of a client telling me, I expect you to answer the phone on the first ring. And I literally fired that client because I could not change her mind. I called her back in that particular instance within seven minutes and she was not happy. And I consider that to be an unreasonable expectation. I am doing work for other people, other people who have paid me, other people who are on contract. I'm somewhere doing something of value to me and my clients. And if you want to interrupt that, then we need to 
charge a much higher rate for you to have me on your speed dial 24 seven and interrupt me anytime. More and more there's research that shows that once you are interrupted, it takes 10, 15, or sometimes 20 minutes to get back on track. So if you allow yourself to be interrupted by telephone calls, say 10 times a day, you could be somewhere between 150 and 200 minutes a day. That's two or two and a half hours a day when you are not productive because you allowed yourself to be interrupt driven. Put out the orange cones. Do not let yourself be interrupt driven. You don't have to answer your door just because somebody knocked. You don't have to answer your phone just because it rings. Call people back. Call them back in 15 minutes. I guarantee they will not notice that you did not answer your phone. Feel free to leave comments and disagree with me. Like it if you like it. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And I wish you all the luck in your managed service business.